with my air handler. All right. So here's the air handler. It works fine, except we got a leak in the pan. All right, so there's holes in that pan and it's going into the overflow pan. It's draining okay, but it's this is not it's not good. This is filling up with water. There's water every place. So it's now the spring. This hasn't run since last year. It's pretty dry. I'm gonna epoxy this. I'm gonna try to make a new pan. Uh, I, to take this out is a huge job. I can't do it. I can't pump down the uh, Freon. So I'm gonna try to fabricate, uh, fabricate something that sits within this and goes into here. But just in the interim, I'm gonna try to take some epoxy and fill the holes. And I wanna try to take this, but look what some idiot did. Look at this. I can't open the door because this is in the way. I can't, there's screws in here. I can't, I can't get to the screws. So very, very frustrating. Very frustrating. So first I'm gonna fill those holes with epoxy. Let's see if I can put this up. Okay, so here's how it goes. Here is how it goes in that way. Now I in there if it lines up uh, I did what I could I mean I, I was really hesitant about taking it out again I didn't want to bend it I want it to be flat so the water runs sometimes you put a kink in it because you do have to bend it to get it in uh, far into there as I could put it and that's it hopefully we're gonna have drainage any water that drips is gonna go that way because of because uh, of this uh, if even if there's holes under here, it's not gonna matter because this is tipped so far. It's not so crazy, but it's enough. It's basically. thing out uh, and that's where we are look how rusted that this this uh, the shiny is epoxy like clear epoxy you'd use for your countertop that I tried to put on from with it in place uh, this thing is rusted like everywhere every place is rusted look at this I even missed this was rusted over here yeah it, it would have been leaking regardless and underneath it was was this and this thing is saturated, okay? I mean, the AC hasn't run since, I wanna say October, and it's May 1st, and it's still soaking wet. 
So what does that tell you? It tells you that had to be mold and crap in there. Uh, anyway, I was in the process of making a pan, but I suck <laughs> at doing that. Here was, here's what I came up with. This is actually not copper. Uh, it's what they had at Home Depot. It was copper colored uh, stainless steel, not stainless steel, copper colored uh, aluminum. But I actually lined it with the shower pan material. But I was right. gonna, so this just got delivered. A uh, little mess up the first time, but they came through. It's, it's, it's perfect. Nice and heavy gauge. It's, uh, it's what? Galvanized steel. They put this through. It's even uh, tilted downwards. These things have done really well. I mean, there's, there's, there's no need. It's not welded. It's just bent. And there's no need to pressure test it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. Perfect. So I'm gonna, hopefully I'm gonna be able to get it in the attic. And hopefully I'll be able to put the- All right, so I got the pan. I try to put it under here without messing this up. Let's see what I can do. I really want to try to get in there. Do I really have to bend this that much more? I don't really think so. I really don't think so. I mean, I really bent the hell out of it to get it up. There's really no need to anymore. Uh, like I said, I don't want to do anything stupid. I slip and, and break the... Like that. <laughs> break, like break this. This gives way, you know, that's what's gonna happen. There's no real reason for me to be going crazy with this part. All right, that's gonna be enough. All right, I mean, that's it. It's sitting in there. It's 
pointing down. No Freon came flying out. This is back where it's gotta be. I think I'm just gonna attach this actually. The screw. I can get to it here. Uh, and that's it. We're gonna say that's all folks for now. Too bad. top here that's it like this like right right there let's look at this panel on over here Shit in there. Dry as a bone. I'm gonna take cut it off over here too. Trap work. Uh, let's plug this up till I get a chance to do something with it. monstrosity crazy 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 crazy
this water is still blue in a few, in a few hours from now. We're not going to know by tonight, unfortunately. Yeah, let's go right to 55.4. Yeah. Point right at the duct. All right. It's, de it's definitely working. There's the duct. The air is 48 degrees. All right. It came back on. So I know at least it's working again, if nothing else. All right, so in theory, when I lift this up, the alarm should beep, and I heard it's not that loud. Ready? All right, so let's just suppose there's a flood. That is freaking quiet, but it's something. All right? All right, done.